Hi, this is Austin. Today, we would like to share the Marilyn series of loan 1 plus cos x. As usual, we let fx be equal to loan 1 plus cos x. At the point x equal to 0, f0 is equal to loan 1 plus cos 0, which is 1 plus 1. Cos 0 is equal to 1. So we have ln 1 plus 1, which is 2. Then we differentiate as usual with respect to x. Differentiate ln x, we will get the reciprocal of x, which is 1 over 1 plus cos x. Don't forget to differentiate the inner function as well, which means that we have to differentiate the function 1 plus cos x and we apply the chain rule. Differentiate 1, we get 0. Differentiate cos, we get negative sign x. As we can see, for this point, we already come to a complicated fractional function. Why we say complicated is because this is a fractional function that involves trigonometry functions for both the numerator and denominator. If we continue to differentiate, the function will be getting more and more complicated. So what we have to do here, instead of the conventional method, we can actually split the numerator and the denominator into two parts. Meaning to say, we will have the function gx equal to negative sine x and the function hx equal to 1 plus cos x. This is relatively more easier as compared to differentiating this function. Let's start with the function g. So we differentiate with respect to x. Before that, remember to substitute x equal to 0 sine 0 equal to 0. Then we differentiate with respect to x, we obtain cos. Don't forget we have negative. So bring forward and substitute 0 again, we obtain negative 1, since cos 0 is 1. Differentiate for the second time, differentiate cos, we will obtain negative sine. Negative with the ascending negative here, negative, negative, we get positive, which means that we will have sine x. Then again, 0. Differentiate for the third time. Differentiate sine, we have cos. So we obtain 1. Then we proceed to the fourth derivative. Differentiate cos again back to negative sign. So we have 0. As we can see, this already back to the cycle. We can actually simply copy the value if we lazy to differentiate. But this doesn't matter, we just differentiate as usual to ensure the answer. So we have negative 1 again. Once we already done for the function g, we can proceed to h. Or we can form the Marilyn function first. So gx is equal to what factorial number or what power we should take depends on which term of the derivative we have. So this is original function is not the derivative yet so means that we will have 0 factorial and power 0 since this is 0 so we can actually ignore this term then we proceed to the first derivative with negative 1 over 1 factorial since it's first derivative and x to the power of 1 first derivative then we plus 0 ignore then we Followed by the third derivative. So 1 over third and third. So 0 again, then fifth. Negative 1 over 5 factorial x to the power of 5 
and so on. So let's simplify. Negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. 1, negative 1, x. Then 6 factorial. 3 factorial is equal to 6. And 5 factorial is equal to 120. Then so on. Then we proceed to hx. At x equal to 0, h0 is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. Then we differentiate with respect to x. We obtain negative side x. So the first derivative, the value is equal to 0, since sine, this sine 0 is equal to 0. As we can see that this is actually the same as gx, which means that differentiating cos is actually the shape of differentiating negative sign. So we can simply copy the value and form their function. If we want to be safe, then we just differentiate as usual. Okay, so we proceed. Sign we have cos. So this is negative 1. Then the third. So we have negative negative positive. So 0. Then the fourth. Cos again. 1 again. Then the fifth. Is actually zero so basically we can stop here and we form their Marilyn series so the first term is 2 2 we don't have to over anything because this is the original function which means that we will have over 0 factorial which is equal to 1 and we times x to the power of 0 1 also 2 over 1 times 1 we get back 2 then we proceed to the second derivative which is negative 1 so second is at 2 x squared then we have the fourth derivative 1 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and so on so here we have 2 minus 1 over 2 x squared. 4 factorial is 24. So we plus 1 over 24 x to the power of 4 and so on. We observe that what we need is the function negative sine x over 1 plus cos x, which means that this is actually we have gx over hx. You just have to apply the long division 2 minus 1 over 2 x squared plus 1 over 24 x to the power 4 and so on divides minus x plus 0 x squared plus 1 over 6 x cubed plus 0 x to the power 4 minus 1 over 120 x to the power 5 and so on. Bear in mind that when we perform long division, the first term, the result must be always equal to 0. In order to obtain 0, which means that we need minus x here. To get x from no x, we need to times x. Then we have negative 1 over 2. So x times no x we have x. Negative 1 over 2 times 2, we have negative 1. So negative 1 minus negative. Negative 1 plus 1 equal to 0. Then we proceed to the next term. Negative, negative, we have positive. 1 over 4, x to the power of 3. x times x squared, so x cubed. Negative, negative, positive, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, 1 over 4. Then we apply subtraction, 1 over 6, 
minus 1 over 4. We obtain negative 1 over 12. Okay, then the next term x times x power 4, x power 5. Negative, positive, negative. 1 over 48. So we have negative 1 over 120 minus a negative 1 over 48. 2 times 24, 48. So 1 over 80, positive. So we have positive 1 over 80 x power 5. Next, we need negative 1 over 12 x cubed. So this is without any x. So we put here x cubed. To determine the coefficient, we can actually take negative 1 over 12 divided by 2, which means that we will obtain negative 1 over 24. So when we times 2, we get back negative 1 over 12. When we minus, we will have 0. So the last term times negative negative positive so 1 over 48 24 times 2 so 48 x cubed times x squared x to the power 5 then we have 1 over 80 minus 1 over 48 so we get negative 1 over 20 120x to the power of 5 okay last one we need x to the power of 5 times no x so we obtain x to the power of 5 again we apply the same method so which means that we need negative 1 over 240 here so we will obtain negative 1 of 1 over 120 then we that so this is the function the equation that we obtain so we have negative 1 over 2x minus 1 over 24x cubed minus 1 over 240x to the power 5 and so on so from here the last step that we need is to obtain the mirroring function of loan 1 plus cos x we can link this function and this function as we can see this is the derivative in other words if we integrate this part then we will get back the original function the problem here is we as we all know every time when we integrate we will have the constant part then what is the constant here this is the constant value so we have to involve this constant value as well so we write here equal to loan to the constant plus we integrate the function so negative 1 over 2x minus 1 over 24x cubed minus 1 over 240x power 5 and so on so we have loan x when we integrate always have my that power plus 1 over power plus 1 so 1 plus 1 we have 2 now over 2 times 2 is equal to 4 then we minus x to the power of 4 now power plus 1 3 plus 1 equal to 4 then 4 times 24 we have 96 then the next one x to the power of 6 so 240 times 6 we have 1440 and so on then we done okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you